According to a Navy spokesperson, the videos that Blink-182's Tom DeLonge showed us back in 2017 and 2018 through his organization to the STARS Academy of Arts and Sciences are in fact real, and they do not know what they are. Now, DeLong was on Joe Rogan Experience in 2017 talking about this topic when he released the videos, when his company released the videos, and here's a clip of that. I don't believe that some of the... Um, I don't believe that some of the events happened on accident. You know, I think that uh, there's been a lot of events that are on purpose. Some have been for show. Some have been for... Um, a, I mean, there's a variety, variety of reasons, but I, I think a lot of it is... A control system that's really pushing humanity in a very specific direction. Now the videos of these unidentified flying objects probably put forth by the deep state. These videos what you're seeing are what DeLong was talking about. He went on to explain he was working with some high-level people in the government, said he couldn't disclose a whole lot, former uh, Air Force general stuff like that, Department of Defense individuals, whomever they may be, and he said that eventually they're going to essentially reveal new technology and disclosure about alien life through movies, through other forms of media. Not entirely specific, but not entirely unspecific either. People called him crazy, said he was soliciting money, and he was asking for money to uh, invest in his organization here, the to, the to the Stars Academy. It's a mouthful. But now I do kind of wish that I bought some stock. It was a couple hundred dollars. Now this is from NBC Chicago, but taken from Motherboard, which is Vice, but I'm going to use this source instead because it's a bit less confusing to read, except for some of these spelling mistakes, which is kind of sad. Navy spokesperson Josh Grasher says, the Navy considers the phenomena contained slash depicted in those these videos as unidentified. There's one of the spelling mistakes. I don't know if that's actually what they said or if they're typing it wrong. We'll see. Grasher official spokesperson of the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Information Warfare. Then we go further down. Gratisher would not to speculate, interesting wording there, what the videos may have captured, saying, the, the Navy has not publicly released characterizations or descriptions, nor released any hypothesis or conclusions in regard to the objects contained in the referenced videos. Now, if you're looking for good content, good information and explanations about UFO and other famous uh, alien abduction UFO stories. There's a guy on YouTube called Mouthy Buddha who I'm a big fan of. The link is in the description. He's a great content creator. I would say check him out. But what I would like is for you to tweet at me, at Andrew Says, comment below, tag me on Instagram and something, at Instagram. Your thoughts about this whole thing as it pertains to these videos or UFOs in general if we've been visited by aliens. I'm very interested in this, in this stuff. I spent a lot of time looking into it as well as things like Scientology, the religion of the deep state. No, I don't know. But I did spend a lot of time when I was younger looking into things like UFOs. So tell me where, you're, where you stand on the subject. Now, for me, I sort of side with Joe Rogan on this sort of thing. And if you've seen his recent episode with Dan Aykroyd, that pretty effectively explains why. Now, I'm certain there must be life out there on other planets, and I would not... I would not disagree that they've probably visited us at this time, but until somebody gets a clear a clear set of footage, a clear depiction of what we're actually looking at with somewhat of an explanation, then it's hard for me to say that what we're looking at is actually an alien craft or alien beings or what have you. Now, on Joe Rogan with Dan Aykroyd, he refutes many of da Aykroyd's claims, and Dan Aykroyd kind of disappointed me. He pretty much believed every story that he's ever heard, said that everyone was credible, and Joe Rogan had to do his his particular style of, are you sure about that? That doesn't sound too scientific to me, that sort of stuff. Now, a good example is how Aykroyd said he was inspired to write Ghostbusters. Now, this may disappoint you, and it, but it may also make you want to go and watch the episode. It certainly disappointed me. Dan Aykroyd said that the reason he wrote Ghostbusters is because that when he was growing up, his family had a medium assigned to them. That's right. They used a medium as in a person who communicates with the dead so often that he was took took so much interest in spirits and in ghosts that that's what's inspired him to write Ghostbusters. Now he said that on many occasions he witnessed people being possessed by spirits from the other side and spoke to spirits of the other side through his family medium. Now most families have a doctor, most families have a dentist, 
They might have a psychiatrist. They might have a milkman if it's 1958. But for your family to have an assigned medium with these ceremonies and rituals going on all the time, all the time, oh, come on. I don't know what to think about Dan Aykroyd anymore. He's got some good alcohols. He's st if you didn't know, he leads the organization called MUFON, which is the Mutual Exchange of UFO Network. Mutual UFO Network. So they exchange information about UFOs. They have an archive. I think they've had a show on sci-fi before where they go into their deep archives of stories people have told them, and they depict those stories. But a family medium... <laughs> Do you have a family CrossFit coach? <laughs> Do you have a family astrology coach? Do you have a family thing of all those things people don't like being told about? Astrology, CrossFit, a family vegan uh, advisor, <laughs> a family social justice warrior. What don't you have in your family if you've got a family medium? Tell me if you've ever spoken to a medium or a psychic. Let me know how that goes. This has been Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once, but not about mediums, you guys.